Hendrik, second in command. We have these books, yeah, they are usually red and they are marked very nice, Vessel Emergency Response Plan. In case of an emergency, you search for this one, you have it in engine room, you have it here, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. have it yeah. also yeah. on bridge, yeah? So, here you can uh, find some tips and steps what to do in case of an emergency. And we will take the example of the exhaust gas boiler fire hi friends so today i'm back with another video today it's about emergencies at sea and the drills we conduct on board every month to prepare for these emergencies it's not every day you see an emergency but we have years of training to be ready to respond to any emergency on board every month all the crew on board have to participate in an abandoned ship drill and a fire drill in a fire drill we simulate an actual fire on board and we pretend to fight that fire. The vessel is equipped with fixed as well as portable firefighting extinguishing systems. Here you can see our chief engineer explaining to the crew how to respond to an engine room fire. Theoretical explanation and classroom education is insufficient without practical experience. So now let's move on to the practical part of firefighting on board. No, it's uh, all now. They will deliver the port side. Thank you. Captain, you can start the pump. You can keep the. Start pump number one. I can see. No, the ignition. What the ignition? No. So, Captain, the engine, there's a fire in the exhaust gas boiler. Team number one, Sudanshu and Rodelo. Assisted by Archit, team number two, Richie, AB, second officer, assisted by AB, Ronnie. And we are having the boundary coolings on deck as usual for testing of the pumps. Electricians have reported that the vents to the engine room are being shut. Electric connections to the exhaust as well have been disconnected. As you heard on me talking to the captain on the radio, we have a lot of things going on together. Here you can see two fire teams getting ready. And they have been assisted by other crew members. Yeah, sure, the pump is running. Every seafarer who boards a vessel is trained to fight fires. They receive basic training as well as advanced training in school before they board a vessel. Wait, 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 I will uh, make. Here the firefighters are checking their air pressure in the oxygen bottle. Okay, no more belt. From the 32 uh, to 70 to 65. Connect? Yeah, connect what? The hose for this one. So while the firefighters are getting ready, let's go on deck and see what the boundary cooling team is doing. So here you can see our deck crew, they are preparing fire hoses on both sides to test the various fire pumps we have on board. It will pump copious amounts of seawater. You know very well that water is good to fight fires. So we have a lot of hoses placed around the ship and uh, we need to connect these hoses to these red valves called fire hydrants. The same we have on land, the hydrants. And when the captain starts the pump, the water will come at very high pressures and we will direct the water to the fire and extinguish the fire on board as soon as possible. This 
ship is equipped with three fire pumps, two main fire pumps and one emergency fire pump, so that we have enough of supply of water to supply to this huge vessel. You can see the pressure at which the water is going. It's pretty strong. You need two men to handle this hose because the pressure is almost 10 bars. It's very powerful, the jet. So we need to be extremely careful while handling this hose. So that's the boundary cooling team. Let's go back to the firefighters now. Okay, fire team one ready. Very good. Third engineer, pressure 265 bar. Automan, pressure 265 bar. Pressures? What are your pressures? Both 280? 300. Okay. So these are the guys who will go inside with the fire hose to fight the fire. Nobody else can go other than these fire teams. All this happens in a very short period within two to three minutes. They don't have much time to get ready because the faster they get ready, the faster they can fight the fire. Brings us to the end of the fire drill. We have two lifeboats on board and the crew is divided into their respective lifeboats, port side lifeboat and starboard side lifeboat. First action is whenever they want to board a lifeboat, we need to wear our life jackets because that's the only way we'll be able to float in the ocean. So all the crew need to don their life jackets and also immersion suits if it's very cold in the sea. Yeah, so me, I will be the commander, conduct the launching. Arrange for portable and medicine Hendrik, second in command, responsible for lifeboat engine. Third engineer, substitute for the second engineer. So once all the crew know their duties, it's now time for one of the crew members to explain to all the other crew members how to exactly launch the lifeboat as per the procedures. So in case of an emergency, no one is in doubt. All the crew need to know each and every step, step by step, how to launch this lifeboat. So as a team, they discuss together and explain to each other how to go about launching this lifeboat. Now that everyone is aware how to launch a lifeboat, it's time to go up to the next deck, to the embarkation deck or the boarding deck. So follow me into this lifeboat along with the crew, where you can see firsthand how it looks inside a lifeboat. It's not very big. But in case of emergency, this is all we have if the ship will sink. All seafarers attend course called Personal Survival Techniques before they board their first vessel. Followed by that is another course called Personal Survival Craft and Fast Rescue Boat. Here you can see that the engine is being tested by the engineers. So they start the engine, they move it ahead and astern. They check this every week and they also check the steering. You can call this a small bridge because this is actually a small bridge on you know, of the lifeboat with the steering wheel and engine and the few buttons we have a few lights and a few other controls which will help us to maneuver this boat safely we need to release this boat from inside everyone needs to come inside and put their seat belt you can see the seat belt so everyone needs to sit and we need to put a seat belt and we need to lower the boat from inside and the boat will go over to, to the water and once the boat is on the water, we need to release the hooks. You know about this, huh? Lift it up Yeah, this put yeah, it into open. This is two kinds of how to uh, release. Yes. You have the onload and upload. Yes. So the onload is you have to, uh, just in case of emergency, onload. We are hanging. Yes. But Not yet waterboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, of this. Normally it's one meter above the water. You have to remove this one here. You see this? Or you break this one. Yes. After you break this one, you have to uh, disengage and break it back. You have to buy finger, you have to yeah. lift it up. Yeah. This then it will open. It you see this arrow? This arrow, you have to uh, push it up. It will release. That is on load. Okay. So upload? Offload automatically, it, it will be pushed yeah. by water yeah. pressure. Well, of course, you have to remove this. This one, one, left and put you it. Cannot remove, you cannot uh, push it back this one without uh, removing this one. Yes. This is the lock. Okay. That's it. Finished. Now remember to switch this off. Switch off. Yeah. Switch off. Connect. Charging. And then the new guys. You know everything what we have inside, huh? Uh, we have. The drill plug is very important. Water is water. 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 Water
It has to be closed. It has to be closed because it's always yeah. kept closed. If yeah. you see, if you yeah. do not. Yeah. And show them the food and everything. Food and water. Yeah. 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 Of course, what you are in water box. Ah. This uh, this one uh, we can uh, show them. Can you remove one? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the food which we have on board. So there you got to see all the equipment which is inside the boat and how to start the boat, the engine and everything else. The what we carry on board that is called Solar Pack A. That's a fixed checklist of items which need to be carried every lifeboat around the world. And this what he's connecting is the charger for the battery. So it's always charged only when we need to use the lifeboat and sail away we will disconnect it. So now all the crew members will exit the lifeboat and We'll remove the safety dashings off. Now the last part of the drill is where we launch the lifeboat onto the water so that the crew is aware how it feels to go down all the way. It's about 40 meters from the deck going all the way to the sea level. So it's pretty high. So once everyone wears their seat belt from inside or from outside, we can launch the lifeboat. We swing it out first, and then we take it all the way down until the water level. Here you can see how I'm lifting the brake of the winch. So this wire is inside the lifeboat also. So in case of an emergency, it will even be me who will be sitting inside, pulling the wire from inside the lifeboat. And when I pull the wire, it will uh, the boat will go all the way down to the water level. But here I'm doing it manually, so I'm standing outside and uh, launching the lifeboat from outside the lifeboat. This lifeboat can carry 38 persons. That's the whole crew complement on one side. In case if it's needed, even though we have two lifeboats, each single lifeboat can carry the whole crew because if the ship lifts too much one side of the lifeboats will not be able to be used because it will be stuck so we both will have to use one side only you can see a lot of markings on the lifeboat that oscar whiskey november lima 2 the number written on top is the call sign of the vessel so any aircraft if it passes by searching for us it can easily spot our vessel all lifesaving equipment is orange color because it's easily spotted from the aeroplanes and also if any other ship is searching for us since we will be in distress and we will be waiting for help to arrive to uh, save us. Guys here I come to the end of my video. If you like it don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching and God bless.